Canımızda yorulsa da Dost kalalım seninle Yalan olan sevgilin Düşmesin el dilim Hiç kimse dolduramaz Kalbimdeki yerini Yok artık sağ ol Senden başka sevgilin Amerika United States USA United States America, America. America, oh, yes. Yeah. America. And you from Kushadasi? Yeah, yeah. You're from Kushadasi. Madi, Madi, Mas Madi. Elvis? Elvis impression? Ephesus was an ancient Greek city on the coast of Ionia, three kilometers southwest of present-day Selçuk in Izmir province, Turkey. It was built in the 10th century BC on the site of the former Arzawan capital by Attic and Ionian Greek colonists. During the classical Greek era, it was one of the 12 cities of the Ionian League. The city flourished after it came under the control of the Roman Republic in 129 BC. So this guy is giving me a ride to the top of the uh, six rooms, and then I will walk down one way and end up back here at the park lot where my rest of the cars are. Sir, what is uh, the castle? Seljan. Seljan. Seljan? Yes, Seljan. 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 And this is Seljan? Town Seljan? Yeah. Seljan? Yeah. All right, so I'm now at the top end of Ephesus. I didn't even know about the uh, possibility of getting the horse up here. I just parked. I knew that it was a large site. I guess it's about uh, four kilometers one way. And so this saves hiking up and then having to hike all the way back. So here's the uh, entrance gate. Let's go explore one of the most incredible Roman cities in the world. The early Ephesus, late 7th millennium to 334 BC. The earliest traces of human settlement found so far in the region of Ephesus were discovered on Chukurichi Hoyuk and reached back into the early Chalcolithic period, late 7th millennium. I think that that Chukurichi Hoyuk might be that castle that I saw from the uh, horse cart there. I was just talking with a guy right at the entrance there, a uh, guide who was trying to get me to uh, go with him on a tour and I asked him about the uh, castle and he said that that was the oldest known human settlement area in this region so I think that must be what that is referring to. At the latest since the early Bronze Age third millennium the easily defensible freestanding mound yeah it's got to be the same thing with rocky slopes on three sides was occupied. Profound changes in the material culture point to a change in the population structure during the course of the 11th century. Settlers from the Greek mainland conquered the coast of Western Asia Minor. I believe that that is 11th century BC. In 546 or shortly thereafter, the Persians conquered the Lydian kingdom and also Ephesus. Their rule lasted until Alexander the Great, 334 BC. Alexander the Great has been everywhere around here. Any of the uh, major cities it seems like Alexander conquered. And here we go. Just the beginning. It's going to be several miles of ruins. So this is going to be quite a adventurous afternoon here in uh, late October. A nice sunny day, but a little twinge of a uh, chill in the air with fall on the way or fall here. So it's kind of perfect exploring conditions because otherwise it would be hot and there would be a lot more people in uh, the middle of summer.
the Basilica Stoa, the two-story triple-aisled Basilica Stoa Royal Colonnade, was donated by C. Sextilius Polio and built in AD 11. This ionic building, one of the most significant constructions in the city, could be entered via a flight of four steps. The monumental seated statues of the imperial couple Augustus and Livia, today displayed in the Ephesus Museum in Selchuk, were placed on a pedestal to the east. The Boletarion housed the meetings of the council as well as musical performances and contests. The originally roofed semicircular auditorium is bonded to a stage wall. The building was erected around AD 100. So cool that you can actually just walk in here.
The Seven Sleepers of Ephesus, the Grotto of Seven Sleepers, located on the slopes of Mount Pion near the ancient city of Ephesus, is known to be the cave where seven young men fell asleep, both in Islam and Christianity. Seven young Christians who were called Maximian, Malchus, Marcianus, Dionysius, John, Serapian, and Constantine, which may be different sets of names in several sources, who lived in the reign of Emperor Decius around 250 AD, refused to sacrifice to the temple in which the emperor was deified and they hid in a cave when they received death threats. The emperor ordered that the entrance of the cave be sealed with a wall. After a while, seven young men fell asleep. When they awoke from their sleep, they went to the town to buy some food unknowingly, whilst Malchus gave the old coin to the merchant. He realized that they were not in the time of Decius, 249-251, but in the time of Theodosius, 408 to 450, and he slept with his friends 200 years, not just one night. Christianity spread all over the Roman Empire. Malchus turned back to the cave and explained the situation to his friends. Hence, all of them fell asleep again, and they never woke up. Wow. Quite a story, and I guess this is the, uh, the cave. 
I don't think this is it. I think it's over there, but let's uh, investigate. Okay, obviously that is not it. And there's that castle next to the town of Selchuk. I will have to uh, try to get over there as well. And there's another site related to the Virgin Mary. Okay, it looks like this is the spot. The House of the Virgin Mary is a Catholic shrine located on Mount Caressos in the vicinity of Ephesus, Turkey. The house was discovered in the 19th century by following the descriptions in the reported visions of Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, a Roman Catholic nun and visionary which was published as a book. While the Catholic Church has never pronounced in favor or against the authenticity of the house, it nevertheless has maintained a steady flow of pilgrimage since its discovery. Catholic pilgrims visit the house based on the belief that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was taken to the stone house by St. John and lived there for the remainder of her earthly life. Hello. No. And so this is the city of Selchuk, and there is the Selchuk Castle. I parked right there. Maybe you can drive and get closer, but I thought it would be interesting to walk through this neighborhood and try to get through the little lanes and get up there. Let's uh, find out how to do it. I'm hoping that it doesn't close at 5 because it is like 5 minutes to 5 right now. So the Virgin Mary house wasn't really uh, a must-see. As you saw there, then uh, a policeman asked me to stop filming. No filming allowed inside the actual house, which is just a small little stone cottage. Not too much to see there. It's about a 15-minute drive from Ephesus in the other direction, so a little bit out of the way, and it costs 60 lira, or about 8 bucks, to go in there. So if it's like of religious importance or whatever, then you might want to check it out, but it's not a incredible sight or anything. All right, I can see the castle walls up there. And this is a uh, interesting neighborhood. But I thought it would be cool to see part of a uh, regular town neighborhood area. All right, we got some stairs it looks like up there. That's a good sign. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Castle Ca Castelli. Castelli. Yeah. Thank you. Nice people. All right. Looks like this is going to work. That is quite a classic castle. And so this is where the tour guide was saying that this hill, I guess, 
was the first area that was populated like thousands and thousands of years BC in this area. Not sure first in how big of a region or whatever, but uh, anyway, it was the like first settlement in this uh, part of Turkey. Classic traveling mobile there. Nice van. A little beat up. Had to make a uh, pretty cool mobile home if uh, you got it all fixed up. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is just not a tourist attraction or if it just closed at 5 o'clock. It's like right on 5, I think. And they just closed the gate. But it looks like I'm out of luck in terms of uh, getting up in there. No big deal. Seen a lot of castles. At least I got a uh, look at the outside and it's a nice view from here. Looking out at Selçuk. Merhaba. The castle is no... Go more this way, yeah? Okay. Okay. Touch your other room. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And here we go. This is the entrance. Okay, the moment of truth. It's closed. Closed, okay. Thank you. So it goes sometimes. Gate of Persecution. The main gate called Gate of Persecution in the south has remained to be the most intact entrance among the entrances. The Gate of Persecution has square plan towers on both sides. Jesus on the middle and his seven apostles are depicted in Aureolus. Frescoes can be dated later than 8th century AD. Look at that. Some other things to see here is the Bay Mosque, Ayasuluk Castle. I'm not sure if that's a different castle. St. John Basilica, which is another thing that uh, I've read about as being something cool to see. So there's a lot to see in this area. And so this is a mosque. Kami means mosque. Very small little one. I wonder if it was a church earlier and then it was transformed into a mosque, the minaret added. Could have been. Looks kind of Byzantine-ish. Looks like a market area. Pretty cool city. Hey, partner. Hi there, how you doing? Hey, Burn Philippines. From the Philippines? Yeah, I messaged you before. Okay, what, what was your name? Burn. Burn, okay, that sounds familiar. Hey, Burn Philippines, yeah. Uh, uh, refresh my memory as far as like what you said in the message or? 
I grew up in Minnesota and moved to Oregon. I spent a bunch of time ah, in Oregon. Ah, okay. You said you were from California. Yep, I also lived in Oregon. Not sure if you knew that, but I lived Sound in like Portland. Band, wasn't it? No, I lived in uh, Portland, Eugene. I'm shooting a video. Hope you don't mind. Mm. You gotta have this pizza. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm not mm. hungry at the moment, mm. but uh, is it the actual pizza or the pide? Whatever's on the left. Well, the right or the left, whatever that pide. Okay, it's like the that Turkish pizza. style pizza. Right, right. Yeah, I had it once before in uh, Cash. Mm. So how long are you traveling in Turkey for? You been here for a while? Or? I'll do the full 90 days. I see. How long have you been here so far? Mm, five weeks. Okay. Which places? Well, I just parked my butt in Istanbul and just kind of drifted around there for a while. Just trying to figure out the lay of the land. First time in Turkey? First time. I see. First time. So. There's a lot to see. What other places have you seen after Istanbul? You just came here recently? or? Mostly came here. And now I'm just kind of going to the sites, the old ancient sites. Yeah. Ephesus. Ephesus Artemis, and, yeah. Just boogieing around through there. Right on. There is so much to see in Turkey. It's crazy. This is my fourth time and I just keep like learning about more and more uh, sites. Like I hadn't been to, this is my first time to Ephesus, even though I've been to other areas kind of close by. But there are so many spectacular sites. It's like, you know, you could spend right. a lifetime. Right, the layers of history just go on and on. And I know, on. it's just phenomenal. What I love is that you can actually walk on top of the ruins and go through there and kick a stone and say, well, is there anything under here? That is phenomenal. Yeah, that you can really cool. kind of explore around. Have you been to Cappadocia yet? I haven't been there, that's okay. on the list. Okay, gotta go, gotta go.